Today we're making a chocolate mousse inspired by the famous French food scientist Hervé Tis. He found that you can make a mousse with nothing but chocolate and water, and indeed you can. As far as vegan, gluten-free desserts go, it's quite good. But the addition of a few egg yolks and siphon aeration take it to a whole new level. Let's start with 200 grams of dark chocolate with 70% cacao content. 65 to 75 will work, but don't go outside of that range. If you're using bars, whack them on the counter while they're still wrapped up to break them up. This is way less messy than doing it with a knife. Measure out 165 grams of freshly brewed black tea or coffee. Add half a teaspoon vanilla extract and one tablespoon Grand Manier. That's optional, you can replace it with more tea. Pop in the microwave until the mixture reaches 180 Fahrenheit. Stir in the chocolate and whisk until it's completely dissolved. Now we'll need four large egg yolks. This preparation won't be cooked, so if you are worried about salmonella, cook your eggs in gently simmering water for one minute. Most salmonella occurs on the shell of the egg and this will kill it. Immediately cool the eggs off in cold water and separate. Make sure to remove any coagulated white and little ropey strings attached to the yolk. Using an electric mixer, beat your yolks in one by one. Beat thoroughly after each addition and don't add more yolks until there is no trace of the previous one. Let's scrape out our bowl and give it all a final mix. Cool your mixture to 90 Fahrenheit before you pressurize it. Pour the chocolate preparation into a siphon. Put the gasket in the lid. Press the lever and screw on the nozzle. Screw the lid onto your siphon. Make sure it's tight or you won't be able to pressurize it. Now charge with two nitrous oxide chargers. That's your standard cream chargers. When you screw them on, you'll hear a little hiss. Shake the siphon well for about 10 seconds to distribute the gas. Then unscrew the first charger. You'll hear another little hiss. That's normal. And the second charger. Shake. and unscrew. Let's check our texture. Good! Some other siphon tips. Shake well before each use and make sure you hold the siphon perfectly upside down. Don't hold it at an angle. If you want, you can layer the mousse with fruits, nuts or preserves. Here, I'm adding some cashews and chopped prunes. And here's my favorite combination of chocolate and black currant. I'm using black currant jam that I thinned out and boozed up with a little bit of cassis. That's black currant liqueur. Of course, you can use raspberry, cherry, and fig jams. The possibilities are endless. After you divide the mousse into cups, this will produce about 6 cups of 7 ounces each. Refrigerate for at least 2 hours and up to 3 days before serving. While our mousse is chilling, let me show you how to wash a siphon. Most people are stumped the first time they do it, or at least I was. First, release all the pressure by pressing on the lever until the siphon stops making hissing noise. Then, unscrew the top. 
Wash the bottle with a bottle brush and a little bit of soap. You can also put the bottle in the dishwasher. The top should be washed by hand. Remove the gasket and wash with a soapy sponge. Now unscrew the nozzle and wash it out with the handy dandy little brush that came with your siphon. Now wash out the inside of the lid. Flip that little brush around and use the handle to separate all the little plastic thingies so that the water can access them. I also like to clean out the nozzle opening with the tip of the brush, but don't stick it in too far. And that's all there is to it. Our mousse has been in the fridge for two hours and it's ready to eat. If you refrigerate it for longer than three hours, I suggest you bring it back up to room temperature for about an hour before serving. Of course, it's delicious straight out of the fridge, but a bit too stiff. I'll top mine with whipped cream. I hate the whole bad porn moaning and breathing that accompanies every chocolate dessert on YouTube. So instead, let's analyze this texture. You see those bubbles? The texture is so light, it's like a chocolate chiffon cake. When you put it in your mouth, you expect it to be a tad dry, but it surprises you with the richest chocolate creaminess, unadulterated by sugar. This dessert has to be tried to be believed. And it has Valentine's Day written all over it. So if your Valentine is gastronomically inclined, you can make them the smooth and give them the gift of a siphon. Nothing says I love you like dark chocolate and nitrous oxide. As always, the information about the recipe and equipment is on my blog linked below this video. For more ways, to seduce people with food science, don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel. And if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.